Hey everybody, Unstable Gamer here, and welcome back to another Marvel Strike Force video. In this video, we're going to discuss uh, the the question of is the forced meta ruining this game for everybody. Um, so I got some thoughts on that. I'd like to hear from you as well. But first, before we jump into that, if you're just now finding this channel and you want to stay up to date with this and other games, consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out. All right, and welcome back. So the question of meta and this forced meta, I have brought this up a couple times in a couple of my videos and I wanted to just spend a little bit of time on that. But first, let's, let's take a minute and talk about what meta means. Uh, I've got some questions about what meta is and stuff. And you know, um, I decided to, to look it up to just kind of get a, an official type definition of it. And this is what it says. So it, Meta is, can be used as an acronym for most effective tactics available, which makes sense. Uh, but, you know, it's, that's, it, that's generally how we use that. It's, it's to explain the best way to achieve whatever goal it is that we're trying to achieve, whether it's completing a raid, being the best in the arena, being best in Blitz or whatever, whatever the meta is. And so my question back to is this forced meta ruining the game? I don't know that it's necessarily ruining the game per se, but I guess from my perspective, it's it's taking away the player's creativity. So back in back when this game started, the the whole allure, the reason why you really wanted to play this game was it was a marvel and you could play with your marvel characters you could build whatever marvel team you wanted you didn't have to worry about sticking them into any specific team you just kind of played around with it until you found what was the most effective team and uh, this team right here that i have up this is this is my what i guess i would call my old school raid team this is the team that just took me all the way to the end of ultimus and uh, it was the first team that got me through that Thor node because everybody remembers the Thor node. I mean, that thing was just, that was tough for a little while to be able to get through. And then this team came along and I started using that. And, and there's not any specific synergy really here. I mean, you got a little bit of synergy with Captain America and Avengers characters and things like that. Night Nurse, she was, I mean, still in the early game, she's the best healer there is. But then once you get towards the late part of the game and into the end game, she's not... She's not even used anymore unless you have her, unless you have her in an arena or a beta team, uh, not a beta team, but a blitz team, so you can uh, climb up, climb up blitz. I don't know. Healers really aren't all that used in in um, arena. However, if you take a look at some of the most powerful metas, regardless of where they are, arena blitz or whatever, it, they all they all have healings. I mean, if you take the if if you take defenders, for instance, right? I mean, you got a ton of healing there. You got a ton of healing. With, with Nick Fury and his team. Early on in the game, so back to my original point, early on in the game, you could really just experiment and put these characters together in any way that you really wanted and experiment with them and just have fun with them. You weren't forced to do anything with it. Well, then we started getting introduced to um, traits and characters that were focused on specific aspects of the game so the first one was storm here so storm came out and she was she is the she was a character that was first geared towards raids first character that ever came out that was specific to a game mode thought it was cool thought it was cool to see something like that happen uh, and then we start seeing some of this other stuff happened, right? Then we start seeing the Brotherhood teams come together and you start seeing Nick Fury and you start seeing all these different meta teams. I mean, if I go into here and we just take a look at my roster, this is kind of like, this is my Blitz roster. I start from the bottom and go all the way up, right? I mean, you got Nick Fury there and then you got the Wakandan team there. And then you got you got the Kree. Brawler team, that's still a team there that that is not, and I don't really want to call it a meta, it's more of a, um, well, I so the forced meta is kind of like what they're doing with the the Apex Arena team. They're making that the best team, and that's the team that you want if you want to do well in Arena. They are making the Wakandans. That's a forced meta there in raids. They are making that the best team in raids, and that's the team that you're going to want in order to go forward. I'm assuming because they said that that then they being Fox next. I'm assuming that they said that because that's the team that you probably want to gear up for Alt Seven. I don't know, but we'll see. 
Uh, but uh, but but you got all these characters here. So you got the you got the whole Kree team. You got the Spider Verse team here with with uh, the synergies. This is another team here. So this one here, uh, this is one of my uh, this is this is one of my favorite teams. That is a non synergistic team. So you have your meta teams and your synergistic teams. I guess kind of for a little bit of separation there. And then here we go with another meta team. So this is your, <laughs> I call it, I call it the Power Ranger team. So this is the Power Armor team. I'm wondering if they're going to fill in that fifth spot. We haven't heard anything about that yet, what that fifth spot might be. Right now I have Captain America in on that team. Fun team, but that is, that's the meta for, for Alliance War. And you've got all these Alliance War specific bonuses for putting them in there. Now, when this Apex Arena team comes out, That'll probably be a good one for war as well because it's again it's a PvP specific mode. But these have these characters here have bonuses specific to war, specific to war offense. So it makes me wonder if they're going to create a team that is specific to war defense as well. Uh, and you know, and you keep going up. So here is this is the Apex Arena team right now. Right now I've got I've got uh, Minerva in there until we can throw Phoenix in there. And then you got Cyclops coming out, which will probably bump Storm out because Storm is still most affected in the raid. But I mean, that's kind of what I'm talking about, I guess. So like, like with the you, you take the defenders and and the rework that was done with them made them a fast a fantastic team. They're one of the best teams on defense in in uh, arena. Well, in, in in all of them, they're one of the best defensive teams. Period. But any one character on their own, I think other than, it's still, you know, my opinion, I still think Daredevil is fantastic as a character by himself. But any one character by themselves isn't really a, a particularly strong character and doesn't really fit in any other any other team, really. You can throw them in there and all that stuff but and uh, kind of piece them about, but they're, uh, they're more effective here. Similar to this, similar to this, um, this X-Men team here, any one character by themselves really isn't fantastic. I've been doing a lot of testing in Arena and Blitz with this team. It wasn't really doing well. I did a video, um, episode one of the Apex Arena team. If you haven't seen it, I'll go ahead and link it up right here. But um, I started in the 1000s and I'm, an, I'm using that team specifically just to climb the ladder to kind of see how well it does. And with just the three characters of Storm, Wolverine, and um, Psylocke, it wasn't doing too well. I, I got stuck. And I couldn't progress anymore until we added un until we added Colossus. Once we added Colossus, that added a little bit more synergy, makes the team a little bit stronger. But even then, I'm having some difficulty climbing that ladder in the arena using just this team, right? I mean, there's better teams in there right now. I mean, you got Brotherhood that pretty much dominates in there, but but just using this team, I because I want to again fully test it. Now, we need Phoenix really to pull this team together. Again, a team, a synergistic team here where any one character really isn't fantastic on their own. So back to my original question, is this force meta ruining the game? It's, it's not ruining the game, it's ruining the creativity on the player end, I believe. I mean, it's still fun gameplay. Uh, the story is still good. I still like the animations and the graphics and they continue to, to bump up the animations. You got some really cool stuff like Phoenix's animations are awesome. America Chavez, she's supposed to have some really cool animations as well. So, I mean, there's a lot of good aspects to the game. It's just, we're getting these cookie cutter teams that we have to get if we wanna be you know, the best. Uh, finishing up, going through my roster, obviously Defenders. You got Guardians of the Galaxy here. You have um, Brotherhood. And then we have, then we have this. This team right here, so this raid team, even though it is not a meta or a synergistic team or cookie cutter team, it was done really well. I think this is probably, this seems like one of the last teams that that we can create and find something cool out of it. This is a really fantastic raid team. It's a raid team I've been using for quite a while. Uh, and it does really well, even though, even though Groot so here's another thing. Groot was reworked to be more effective in in Arena and replaced with Mantis, but nobody's really using Mantis in the raid. Um, if you are, I'd, let, I'd like to hear from you uh, how she's working out. I've used her a little bit, but it's just not, she's just not as effective. So again, forcing characters to be parts of raids, even, even with that though, we were able to have a little bit of creativity here. So really, 
that's kind of what this is all about. I'd really like to hear from everybody on their thoughts about this forced meta. And 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 what is it doing for you? I mean, are you enjoying the game with that? Uh, do you feel that you have enough creativity to, to kind of do what you to do what you want um, in the game, or do you feel that you're you're chasing this one thing over here in order to, in order to be competitive and effective over here? You know what I mean? That's kind of the way I feel right now. So I'm I'm, I'm hitting hard on the on the Apex Arena team and getting them built up, and the Wakandans and getting them built up so that I could prepare for the raids. And then obviously for climbing the arena ladder and stuff like that. I don't want to make this video too long, but I did kind of want to ask that question. So that's that's kind of that's what I want to ask you. And uh, so now you know how I feel about it. I do feel that force beta. I don't feel that it is ruining the game. I just think that it's ruining some of the player creativity and and being able to fulfill some of that. Well, some of that fantasy, right, of being able to pick and choose who you want and, and, and the discovery, because the discovery thing was really cool. You you find this really fantastic team that works together and you just want to share it with everybody. And it's it's like this little it's like this little awesome thing that you found. You know what I mean? Rather than saying, Oh, okay, well, this is the team I gotta shoot for, so let's go ahead and shoot for this team so that I can be more effective in arena and so that I can be competitive. Anyway, there you go, everybody. That's what I had for you tonight. Just wanted to share my thoughts on this whole force meta thing. I'd really be curious to know what you guys think about it. So definitely let me know and uh, share your thoughts in the comment section. And uh, as always, I want to thank you all for taking the time to watch the video. If you liked it, make sure to hit that thumbs up. And uh, again, share your thoughts and questions in the comment section below. Take care, everyone, and we'll talk to you next time.